Guys, if you haven't yet, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss a video from Techo Friendly. So, hello guys, once again welcome to Techo Friendly. Uh, as you guys know, or maybe many of you guys know that uh, a few months back, I made a video on how to enable Intel VTX uh, in uh, Windows 8, 8.1 and 10. But after making that video, uh, the problem was many, uh, you, many viewers reported that the UEFI firmware settings was missing from their computer even if they, are, even, the, even if they were using Windows 8, 8.1 or 10. Now guys this may happen if you are using a gen, uh, if you are not using a genuine version of Windows 10 or if you are not updating your computer or if there is any problem with your registry files or something like that. So now I am not getting into that, I am not tell, going to tell you how to bring back UEFI firmware settings to your computer. Uh, right now I am going to show you uh, how to uh, enable Intel VTX if UEFI firmware settings is not present in your computer. So uh, guys without any delay, uh, let's get into the video. So guys basically what you have to do is you have to shut either shut down or restart your computer and press a particular key combination or a particular key like F10, escape, uh, escape along with F2 or F2. Uh, now that keyword, keyword combination depends upon uh, the motherboard of your computer. Uh, with, if you are using of gigabyte then you will have to like if you are using uh, gigabyte uh, motherboard uh, then uh, if your BIOS is of gigabyte and your motherboard is of gigabyte then you will have to press like F2 to enter the setup uh, if you are using uh, HP HP 2000 uh, uh, notebook uh, notebook PC then uh, you will have to like uh, press uh, F10 or uh, in, in even older versions of uh, uh, you know like HP you, uh, you will have to uh, press like escape and F2 along with F2 so now in order to uh, know about that keyword co combination of uh, your motherboard of that keyword combination uh, of your computer what you have to do is I'll show you I'll get uh, get into the computer and show you so guys what you have to do is go to Google Chrome open your chrome or any other uh, firefox or any other browser that you may be using go to the search bar and type your mother if for example if you are using gigabyte or uh, asus uh, something like that then uh, then uh, if you know the motherboard or uh, the model name of your motherboard then uh, type in that if you uh, don't know that uh, then uh, you may be knowing the name of at least you may be knowing the name of the company of uh, or the manufacturer of your motherboard just put that and if you are using a laptop then uh, you may be definitely knowing uh, the uh, you know model number model name model uh, name or model number of your laptop so now i am going to check the you know uh, bias or the key key combination keyword uh, keyword key uh, keyboard keys to enter bias in HP 2 2D 50 TU notebook PC. All right. So uh, HP it's it's of a, it's of HP 2000 series uh, laptop. So I am going to put exact model number HP 2D 50 TU bias setup key combi kibo keys so and click enter so uh, as you can see guys uh, see go to the first link that you see over so here guys I'm pretty much sure after entering the motherboard uh, you know uh, model number model name or motherboard company name something like that or if, if you enter your laptop's model name uh, into your browser and you will come to know about the keyboard combination to enter the bias setup of your computer guys it's for sure uh, I'm not I'm not telling you that it you will get it easily but 
you will get it from some other site or forums or something like that even you can ask like in forums like at, uh, the company if you're if you're using the mother uh, if you're using the motherboard like uh, gigabyte then you you can go to uh, like forums of gigabyte uh, you can go to the gigabyte website and ask their uh, tech support or something like that uh, like that you can uh, you know uh, come to, uh, you you can uh, know find out uh, about the keyboard keys to enter the wire setup so i'm not wasting any more time uh, so uh, let's get in let's let me show you how to do that how to enable intel vtx outside your system if you have if you don't have uefi firmware in your computer so now guys what you have to do is you have to restart your pc restart or shut down uh, whatever you prefer so i'm going to restart my uh, pc so just let us restart it and when it completes restart uh, when your uh, motherboard's logo yeah, or that company's logo just uh, just when it when your computer starts booting up press that key to enter the bios setup as you can see it's f10 to enter my uh, bios so i clicked f10 while my pc was booting up i'll click no so what you have to do is you have to navigate to uh, system configuration as i told you uh, in the video in the earlier video here you can see it and uh, then go down navigate to virtualization technology and enable it by clicking on the site like yeah like that all right so you can uh, change it like change to change value you have to click f5 or f6 uh, like this f5 will uh, disable it and uh, again press f5 it will get enabled all right so after the after which you will have to pr uh, press f10 i don't know it varies now uh, after you enter bios it everything every all the all those options uh, that you have to click in order to make a selection or make changes to your bios will be uh, mentioned uh, like this at the bottom of your screen so do it according to that now i am showing it uh, to you guys in hp laptop so uh, i have to uh, click f10 to uh, save and exit to restart my pc so yes i will click on yes and the you go guys we have successfully enabled intel vt uh, intel virtualization technology in our, in our computer and we have done it uh, uh, not through uefi firmware settings uh, without uefi firmware settings if, if you can say uh, by uh, entering the bios outside your computer so guys if you haven't yet watched my video uh, to which you can activate if you uh, you have if uefi firmware setting is is present in your pc uh, then i will recommend you uh, you, you can go back and watch my video in which uh, with, in which you uh, for users who have uefi firmware settings in their computers uh, the link will be in the description below so this uh, that's it guys this was how you can enable intel vtx uh, or intel virtualization technology uh, if you don't have uefi firmware settings in your computer uh, from outside your system so uh, what you have to uh, like what you have to keep in mind is the key combination or the keyboard combination uh, that you have to press in order to get into the bios setup now in my case i had i so i told you uh, how to find it just go to google uh, google chrome or any other browser and put in your motherboard's model number or your computer's if you're using a laptop so put in your laptop's uh, model number and uh, you will come to know about the keyboard uh, keyboard uh, key or that particular key or key combination that you have to press in order to get into the bios setup and you have to press that key uh, key while your system is booting up so you can do that uh, by restarting your computer or uh, by shutting uh, shutting down and uh, by turning on your pc and while your system is turning or booting up you can press then also but uh, you have to uh, press that as soon as your system is booting up once your system bo uh, boots up uh, you can uh, enter into bios by uh, pressing that key 
so that's it guys i i hope this uh, you like this video or this help this video helped you so again if you guys have any doubt or any difficulty in uh, doing or uh, in activating intel virtualization technology uh, then put it down in the comment section below guys just like you did in my earlier video video so sorry it took me uh, a few months to do this video uh, i knew it but uh, you know actually i uh, kind of forgot to make this video so guys once again if you like my video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like my video give me a thumbs down and do mention in the uh, comment section below what was your difficulty so that i can uh, resp or re either respond or help you and uh, i can improve my videos in the future and uh, if you ch uh, do check out my channel and if you like my content subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video to all those buddies of yours you know, who want to know how to activate in intel or uh, how to enable intel visualization technology in their computer and they don't have uh, like uefa firmware settings and if even if they have you can share this video uh, like uh, you can activate by both the uh, method so that's it guys that's it for today uh, meet you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye